What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here, and the first thing you need to know for Chain to the Rhythm is the chords that we're going to need to play this song. The first chord you're going to need is going to be A minor, the next will be D minor, the next is going to be F, and the next will be C, and the last one will be E minor. And guys, I will have chord charts for all of these in the description below. Alright guys, the next thing that you want to know is the strum patterns we're going to use for this song. The first one and the one that we're going to be playing for most of the song is going to be, it's kind of long, so slow this down, rewind it back if you need to, but it's going to be down, 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 up, and then slight pause, and we're going to do up, down, up, down, up. Now when we play that through all the way full speed, it should sound something like this. So that'll be the main thing that we're using throughout this song. We're also going to use just single down strums in some places. So I'll let you know which places those are, but for most of the song, we're going to use that big, long strum pattern. All right, so first things first, the verse and the chorus. The verse and the chorus chords are the same for this song. So we're going to start with A minor. We're going to play through A minor twice. And we're going to go to D minor. We're going to play through D minor twice. Then we're going to go to F. We're going to play through F twice, and then we're going to go to C, play through C once, and we're going to go to E minor, and play through E minor once. So like I said, guys, that's going to be the verse and the chorus. So when you play that all together, it should sound something about like this. That brings us into pre-chorus. Now pre-chorus is going to be real easy, it's just going to be single down strums. We're going to have F, let that ring out, and then we're going to have a very quick G, and C, let that C ring out, and then we're going to go to A minor, and we're going to go to E minor, and that'll bring us into the chorus. So one time all the way through that should look something like this. And guys, the very last chord progression that you need to know for this song is going to be the bridge. And the bridge is Skip Marley's part. And all that's going to be is just going to be single down strums. And it's going to have D minor, F, A minor, and G. So obviously I just played through that, but when you play through it all together without me talking, it should look about like this. And guys, that is all you need to know to play Change of the Rhythm. As always, if you guys have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to them. And if this video helped you out, hit that subscribe button right now. I have about 300 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually post one to three new ones every single day. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, this is the perfect channel for you to watch. Lastly, guys, if you're interested in the kind of gear that I'm using, whether it's my camera, microphone, guitar, strings, picks, capos, any of that kind of stuff, I have that all linked in the description below. I get a lot of questions on what kind of gear I use, so I went ahead and just put it all in the description, so that way it's easy for those of you who are curious to find. Guys, I hope you have a lot of fun playing Chains of the Rhythm, and I will see y'all very soon.